I didn't get into fashion, fashion got into me. We're living in a time of duality because vintage is booming. Sustainable fashion is actually booming with vintage in general, black people, people of color have really always been in the vintage business. We drive fashion, we drive the culture. So by allowing us space, we're opening up a whole new market to them. The industry definitely taught me about fashion in general and definitely about like the quality and the workmanship of true designer fashion. But for me, I was always really interested in things that were able to tell a story, things that were a little bit more unique, things that everybody else wasn't wearing. In the collective, we have pretty much anything that you would want as far as small gifting ideas and also personal items for yourself. So we have everything from sage and incense and candles to books and journals. We do sustainable fashion, which is designer resale and vintage. We also do small batch brands. We have like really cool designers that do a lot of upcycling. It's kind of like made to order. So it's not like a big fast fashion consumption, which I think is really good. Your head goes through here and then your arms can go through here or here. You can actually wear them a lot of different ways. But the thing I love about them is that they're all sourced from vintage or old t-shirts that he finds at thrift stores. And then he'll hold them until he finds enough to like make a story. Fast fashion is literally just that. It's things that are made very quickly in large quantity skews, very cheaply. You can buy them, you're gonna wear them once or twice, and you're literally throwing them out. Whereas vintage is something that stands the test of time. And they're things that are have a reference point. Vintage is something, something specific. Either the designer has a great print, it has a great pattern, has a great fit, but it's something that's referenced to fashion and it's something that will basically stand the test of time. And the thing about that is that because it's by small brands, individually sourced, you're not gonna have a lot of it and so it's gonna be more unique when you wear it. Our parents made sure we looked good and they made sure we dressed well. They would know how to take something and repair it. They would know how to go and find fabric. They would know how to like create things from thrift, from hand-me-downs and make them look great. So we've always been in that space, but we've never been rewarded for it. The people that have the gates closed are seeing that it benefits them to let us in and there's value in that. I think it was really about going back to my own roots of you know, thrift shopping and garage selling with my mother. Part of it is about the hunt and finding it. And part of it is finding something that is so made for me, that so expresses my point of view and my personality. When I wear vintage, it's just a confidence that I have. It's a, something that makes me feel good. And it doesn't really matter what you wear as long as you feel good about it. And for me, that's what vintage does.